Hi right, everybody, this show is just full of surprises. All right, and that was LL Cool J with Doing It Well. That was the remix right there. All right, and we just wrapped up with the one and only author, L.A. Smith, right here on WSJ The Voice with myself, DJ Hypnotic. I'm going to take another quick break, and I'm going to be right back after this, all right? And I'm going to get into this new Fantasia, all right? Her new album is out. It's called Back To Me, and it's actually really good. I think everybody should take a listen of it to it people say that she really came into her own with this album so check it out i like the production with this beat right here it's called i'm doing me and it's on w as jay the voice you know All right, everybody, it's that time was good. I am DJ Hypnotic. I'm still here. It's 231 on the East Coast at the top of the fourth floor at Marillac, Marillac Cafeteria, Marillac Building. Yeah, the fourth floor is definitely not a cafeteria. Everybody's eating, eating good downstairs. But what's good? I'm still here. I'm going to be with you for another half hour or so. And what's good is that special time because right now I want to welcome to everybody from Boom Dizzle. With LL Cool J to my show, Am I On The Air? With myself, DJ Hypnotic, I want to welcome to everybody, Nutso. What up? Yo, what's good? What's good, fam? What's going on? You know, just chilling. St. John's is going down. It's going down right now. All right, so why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? I googled your name, and this is what came up. Okay. Nutty, crazy, hyper... Like, how much of that is true? <laughs> you have a so, unique name. Well, the name actually came from what you're doing at the moment. I was a college radio DJ. And we used to do skits. Like, we'd have, like, fake rap interviews. Okay. We'd do this guy named Nesso, and it was, like, really goofy stuff. But then it just kind of stuck because I started freestyling all the time. People just started calling me Nesso in college, so I just kind of ran with it. Okay. Now, do you incorporate this crazy personality with your music? No, nah, not really. Not really? <laughs> no. Okay, so you... But it's, it's, it's more, you know, have fun type of music. Got you, because I heard your song. I was actually definitely going to get into that. But why don't you talk about the type of rapping that you do? It's fun. What else would you describe it as? You know, I would clarify it as um, Eminem meets, like, little, you know, Black Eyed Peas type of thing. Like, it's, I try to keep it really lyrical, but I don't try to go over your head. But okay. I always make sure the flow is on point. To me, that's like the strong point. You gotta keep that flow on point. Cool. So, do you think catch, um, coming up with something catchy is very important with making a hit song? Oh. oh yeah. Oh definitely. You need to have something that people can not just relate to, but can sing along to and can have fun with. Because you know you can't just you can't just talk about the same thing everybody else does. But you you know you need to somehow connect with people. That's definitely true. Now, why don't you let everybody, all the listeners out there, know how you started off your rap career? How did you come up Man. with spinning bars? Uh, way back in, like, 98, started rhyming, like I said, in college. And I did a couple of shows in college. Um, and then, you know, just through the years, getting, like, these little labels trying to sign me. And I just kept kind of pu- pushing it off and putting some albums out on, like, iTunes. And then, then came this website called BoomDizzle.com. With, through LL Cool J and I just jumped on there started putting all my music on there you know and then they more or less discovered my music signed me up to a label and there I am that's good to hear now you actually are the winner of one of their contests Want, uh-huh. want to Bond Stage did I get the name correct? Uh, one more time Want to Bond Stage is that the name of the contest? you know what it was um, it was the contest for TV.com awards Okay. It was, yeah, it was one want to be on stage, and then the song they picked was a song that I got signed on with. Then I went down to San Diego, flew out there, performed in front of uh, probably a thousand people. Uh, they had a big award show, all these celebrities, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great. Okay, I see that now. Want to? It's the way they had it typed. They had it all typed as one word, so I thought it was want to yeah. bond. All right. You know, I, yeah, here, yeah. <laughs> That's cool though. Now, I actually hear that clean tracks had to be submitted for this contest. Was that hard for you to do? No, I don't really curse that much because I don't find it necessary. 
you know, like necessary in the sense of just saying it to say it. You know what I mean? It doesn't just slip out, you know, curse naturally. No, I don't curse naturally. No, uh huh. All right. No. Only because, like I said, it's, to me, if you're going to use that language, it has to be emphasizing something, not just to say it. You know what I mean? Not I just to you. throw it in there just to sound like, yeah, I'm, I'm badass. Do you think you lose your substance when you just curse for no reason? Ah. Uh, you know, it depends because see, I'm a, I listen to a lot of lyrical rap. Yeah. Like cannabis, Royce Five Nine, and they don't necessarily curse that much, but they're very their content is you know they, they pack it in. You know, it's like we, it's like listening to a dictionary. But sure. you know, rappers say like Soldier Boy that curses for what reason? I don't know. It, it kind of just it loses all appeal to me. Well, we're not going to talk about Soldier Boy. I don't know if some music <laughs> out there is real music. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. But like, even like guys that are popular for I, I don't know what reason, <laughs> but he curses a lot, so it even loses more appeal to people that you know perceive hip hop as you know Nas and Jay Z and so forth. Definitely. All right, now are you from Queens? Nope, I'm from born in Canada, live in California. Wow, okay. I was all right, I was ready to ask you questions about where your stomping grounds in Queens. I guess I have to switch that. You know what? There's, a, there's another cat with the same name out in Queens. Okay, no, I never I never heard of a nut, nut so in Queens. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's that's cool though. So Canada and LA, that's and where that's you reside California, now. California, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, cool. Are you doing a lot of showcases out there? You know, I was doing a bunch and then since I got signed I've only done like one show. I've been working on my music, um, you know, it's kinda Doing things behind the scenes and whatnot, you know. Now that's kind sometimes, of it up. Yeah, sometimes that's the best way to get things done. Yeah. But like you're working on an album right now? Yep, just kind of putting it together piece by piece, you know, working with some independent producers. Um, to me, you know, that's the way to go. There's so many, there's so many good producers out there no one's ever heard of. That Even that song that, uh, that you got jealous was made uh, by an independent producer off of soundquick.com that I just connected with a bunch of songs and you know just like I said he's really talented and it's Mr. K.A. but no one's ever heard of the cat you know yeah now do people send you beats most of the time or do you just vibe them out on your own uh, I listen to them a lot on my own but then I'll get people you know oh listen to mine listen to my beats listen to them. and so I always I always listen to everybody's beats I always work with everybody that wants to work together you know I never turn anybody down so Okay, that's real. Yeah. All right, so, like, what's next for you? When do you expect your album or want your album to kind of be ready? Or can you actually well, put a time frame on original work? Well, there's no time frame necessarily because right now that song called Jealous is a song we're trying to push out. Um, hopefully it'll be out there soon, you know. So you want that one song to catch fire, and then and we'll just throw a bunch at them, you know. So, you know, you gotta you gotta have that one starting point. And just drop an album and be like, what's this? Who's this dude, you know? Yeah. So right now, it's just, you know, like I said, building blocks right now. You know, it's kind of building it up to the point where once people recognize the name and they know that song, then, you know, drop it on them. All right, that sounds cool right there. So, like, with that said, like, how is LL Cool J helping out your career, giving you advice? What is he doing? You know, he... It's funny because we hung out and he's, I don't know how people perceive him, but he's basically what you would think. Very laid back, chill, you know, um, you know, he's, he's excited about the project and he's more or less, because right now he's all tied up in like doing TV shows and he's doing, a, he's doing some, you know, on the side and so forth with his music. So it's, it's more or less right now. He's just, he's the, he's the behind the scenes of my project. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's setting it up. He's doing things for me. And I don't necessarily have all the details, but, you know, when I talk to talk to the label, you know, they're, they're assuring me things are getting set up. That's the up. That's the up. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with everything, though. So, like, is there anything else that you want to do beside rap? Do you want to venture into any other outlets of entertainment? You know, I probably, something I always want to do, like, with TV, you know, do some TV. I love radio. I just, when I was a radio DJ, and like yourself in college, it's, it's so much fun. Yeah, radio. Radio is like a good. I think radio is a great outlet to get a lot of things going on. Yeah, it's a good. And it's a. It's a great, great thing for like, like you, in college. It's a great starting point if you want to get into that business. Definitely, so. and you have to like talking to people. <laughs> yeah, because you know people get nervous when they try to talk. I mean, they just get scared on the mic. <laughs> 
Somebody's yeah, always more you. nervous than you. Always, always. You have to be very loose, very, you know, you have to really enjoy it, have a good personality, character, you know, and that's kind of like where, when I jumped in front of the mic in the, in the radio, jumping in front of the mic on stage was nothing to me. I never get nervous, nothing. That's, you know. Yeah, see, one thing helps you out with another. Yeah, because people always ask me, are you nervous? When I was doing that show in San Diego, oh, are you really nervous? No, it's just another show. It's another song that I know. And give me the microphone, let me do my thing. Do you think you have no choice but to do your best or else you're just going to, like, embarrass yourself in front of everybody? Yeah, I mean, you know, always, to me, like, especially when it comes to hip-hop music, yeah. I think you should always have a little bit of a little bit of the conceited side, just in the sense of, I know I'm good. Not, not just confidence, but you got to come off as... I, I'm the best because there's always somebody that's always going to say this dude is you know he's a clown you know so you always got to put your best foot forward because if you just come out and give it half half your best people will know they'll notice you know yeah I've done shows in front of 50 people to hundreds of people and it's the same for me I just do it the same way I just try to give them all my energy no matter what yeah that's all you can do I want to wish you luck with that hope everybody's feeling your message and your music what you got to say out there yeah for sure hey thanks thanks to St. John's University you know big up there yeah no doubt so right now are you in Canada or are you in LA no I'm in Cali oh you're in Cali alright California uh huh yep I'm in Cali you know just doing the music thing that's what's up alright I'm just gonna place you on hold but are there any last messages that you wanna give to like the aspiring MCs producers what do you want them to know I would I would tell them to check out boomdizzle.com. It's a good, it's a good spot for up and coming artists to get discovered. You know, there's been a couple already off of there. Um, you know, I would always the internet's huge these days. Use it to your full advantage in any way possible. But if I had to give one thing to like MCs, no matter what, make sure you work on the flow. Because the flow is, if you don't have it, it'll destroy you. <laughs> All right. That's good advice. But you know what? I got your single. We got to get into Jealous before I get you off the line. Yeah, get that song playing. All right, yeah, definitely. So why don't you go ahead and introduce it? Yeah, this is Nutso with you on WSJU. Here's Jealous from Boom Dizzle. Just spin it. Get it going, Hypnotic. Yeah. 